Hello again. It seems like this idiot really is learning how to tune here. So it's time to move on to the next step, which is going to be the drift wobble or eye gain slider. So I'm going to do some tests on this starting at 0.3 and moving 0.3 increments. So I'll do 0 0.6, 0 0.9, 1.2, probably just stop there. Um, cause everything I've seen, um, this drift wobble slider is usually kind of on the lower side. Uh, so I'll do those tests and head over to PID toolbox and look at those again, trying to look at that step response tool. So let me save this and head out for some, uh, tuning flights. Drift wobble slider at point three. So let's jump back into this here. Uh, I actually ended up taking up the um, drift wobble slider up to 1.5 to um, give it a try, though it was a little bit funky when it got up there. Um, so I'm hope, kind of hoping that's not where I need to go. And from uh, what I've seen from other people, it's not where they usually end up. So time to jump into this step response tool and go down into the um not that one but the drift wobble tests whoops i have to i always forget about resetting this to get rid of what's in there or actually you can even add to it as well so from uh what I've learned, I guess, is that the eye gain, we're working on eye gain, and that adds to everything. Um, so I'm trying to figure this out here. It looks like all of those, except for this lime green, have a nice rise in the beginning, but... Um, the lime green there is actually closer to the one which show that would have been probably the lowest eye gains yep that's 0.3 on that slider so let me um, actually get rid of the top two and just look at the bottom three And maybe this is another case of now I've need more damping in here. Um, I don't know if I'm starting to chase my tail or what. Maybe I need to do a little more research here and try to figure this out. Um, but the orange line here actually probably looks the best as far as getting up that step response to 1.0. Um, so let me reset that and run just that so that looks pretty good um, I guess the difference between that and the next one is it goes up it has a little bit less latency um, for fun I guess I'm gonna take a look at this drift wobble at point three and compare it to where I had no drift wobble in there and just kind of see what that latency difference is. So the red is not, I guess there's not that much difference between those two. So, um, what the heck, let's add one more. I don't know. I'm either going to go with 0.3 or go try some more tests. Okay, so I've been looking at this a little bit closer now and been comparing just the 0.3 and 0.6 on the drift wobble. Uh, 0.3 is the red and 0.6 is the maroon. And 
what I was looking at was the latency difference. Um, so how sharp that goes up. So uh, the less latency is a sharper, steeper uh, curve there. So the maroon is better at that, even though they're both, um, and actually the red red is probably a little bit closer to the one 1.0. Um, however, that difference is really negligible. Uh, so I think I'm going to go with the 0.6. Uh, I've also um, heard that the 0.3 is these eye gains are probably not enough. Uh, I think that's um, going to be an unstable. I think that's drift more drifty and um, more drifty side of uh, flight and I don't really want that. So I'm going to go ahead and go to uh, 0.6 on drift wobble and keep plugging away move on to the next thing